In this lesson, I want to discuss the bones of the skull that we can see from an inferior view, looking at mostly the hard palate. And a few bones that we can see here from the bottom here is the maxillary bone. Um, you can see here the vomer. Uh, sphenoid, we can see this part of the sphenoid in here. Um, the zygomatic bone, we can see from an inferior view um, here and here. And that's really the bulk of what we can see there. Now I want to show you guys the um, on the maxillary bone we can see a structure here referred to as the palatine process of the maxillary bone. The palatine processes are here um, because they process towards this bone, the palatine bone. And since it processes towards there, in red is the palatine process. And that's of uh, the uh, maxillary bone. Now, we can continue on here. Again, we can see the bone known as the vomer here. The vomer. And also, you can see these guys here of the sphenoid bone. The structures here, the sphenoid, these. And these are called the pterygoid processes. Pterygoid process. And there are two pterygoid processes there. Um, some of the other things that we can see here, the foramen ovale of the sphenoid bone here, a little foramen lacerum here. You can actually see the temporal process of the zygomatic bone here. And then the uh, zygomatic process of temporal bone coming off there. Uh, but as it goes, those are the primary the structures that we can see. One last thing that we can make special note of, you can see the inferior orbital fissure here from this view. Inferior orbital fissure. And this concludes our little video on the skull that we can see from this view. And uh, this concludes my video. Thank you.